I would like to call the meeting to order, um, the planning board meeting of February 11. And our first order of business is to adopt um, the agenda for this evening. Um, so uh, we can adopt it um, as is, or are there changes or modifications to tonight's agenda? Madam Chair, I'll make a motion to adopt the agenda as presented. Is there a second? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, the uh, motion passes. So the next um, order of business is for us to approve the minutes. And just for a point of clarification, even though um, Jamie and I were not at the last meeting, um, we are, through Robert's Rules of Order, we're able to go ahead and approve the agenda um, as well. So we do have the, the right number to do it. So, do I see a motion? I'll make a motion. Very well. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The motion passes and the, um, the minutes are approved as stands. So our next order of business is um, the public comment period, and our town manager, James Ayers, will um, give a synopsis of, of what that entails, what the public comment period entails. Thank you, Madam Chair. Members of the public are invited to address the Planning and Zoning Board on any topic. Public comment is not intended to require the Planning and Zoning Board to answer any impromptu questions or take any action on items brought up during the public comment period. Speakers will address all the comments to the board as a whole and not one individual member. Discussions between speakers and members of the audience would not be allowed. Time limits are three minutes per person or five minutes per group. Please come forward to the podium and identify yourself so that your statements can be recorded. All right, so our next order of business is under new business. And um, we have uh, a number of appointments to the Park Committee. Um, and the Park Committee is the Preservation and Architectural Review Committee. And so we have, um, we have a number of appoint appointments for that. We have three to begin with, and that is for, um, we have three openings for four-year terms. Um, who has, um, whose terms have expired um, would be Sarah Benson, Amy Bennett, and Courtney Schultz. So we will need to um, make appointments um, for those positions. I know that um, the three uh, people who served in those positions are very interested in serving again. But um, so I think I will call for nominations for um, the first or one of the three, one of the three of the four year terms. So it was, I'm sorry, <clears throat> Sarah Benson, Amy Bennett, and Courtney Schultz? Correct. Since uh, they're all interested and serving and they've got the experience, I just go ahead and make a motion to reappoint. All three of them? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I second that motion. Very well. Uh, well, we've got a motion and a second, and that would be, um, well, we need, um, if everyone is in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 So the motion carries. So I will um, again state that motion for the four-year terms. We will have Sarah Benson, Amy Bennett, and Courtney Schultz. Additionally, we have um, another appointment. Um, it's actually a consideration for a reappointment to the park committee. So Jackie Myers, who uh, was on the park committee, uh, had two uh, reasons that she missed um, consecutive meetings. Um, in our ordinances, we have um, an ordinance that says once two meetings are missed, uh, that the person um, automatically goes off. However, we have the ability to reappoint. And so um, I would like to um, just put that out there. Um, Jackie Myers uh, connected with me and gave me her reasons for um, her absence at the meetings. Um, 
and one was um, for a funeral, and the other was a change in um, the meeting schedule uh, that she wasn't aware of. So I guess the next order of business would be to find um, a nomination uh, for reappointment of uh, Jackie Myers to this two, I believe it's a, well, it's not an expired term, so it's to the term she had been serving. Do I hear a motion? If she's for, still interested in serving, then I would just may I make a motion to reappoint Jackie Myers to her term. She indicated to me that she was uh, interested in a reappointment. So we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Second. Um, all in favor of re a reappointing Jackie Myers to the Park Committee? Aye. Aye. The motion carries. Jackie Myers is reappointed to the Park Committee. So, <laughs> Park is very popular this evening. We have one more um, appointment to make to um, the Park Committee. It's an ex officio member. It's a two-year term. And this um, would be a member who is appointed from this planning board. Uh, so I call for nominations um, from this board to serve on the park board for a two-year term. I don't want to. I'm not going to even want to. Sherry, would you like to serve? Right. Sure. I'd like to nominate Miss Sherry Wickstrom. I, th I'll second. I think Sherry would be. <laughs> and so there's a second? I'll second. second. Yeah. Very well. All in favor? Aye. Ah, uh, the eyes have it, so I get to be on the park committee. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so the next um, item of new business is the review, well, um, is really the scheduling of a public hearing for the Town of Manio Flood Damage Prevention Ordinance and the maps that are associated with it. So um, what this is about is that there, uh, we have a draft ordinance that has gone to the State Department of Emergency Management for review. So that is out of our hands right now, um, but uh, they will be reviewing it in short order. And then we need to um, take that um, ordinance, we need to hold a public hearing, we need to have discussion on this board, make a recommendation, and that will go on to the Board um, of Commissioners. So, uh, so what we're really looking to do tonight um, is to set that meeting. And we have a very tight timeline on this. What we're hoping to do, or well, what we're actually required to do, is that an adoption of this, I'm going to say it again, it's the Flood Damage Prevention Ordinance and associated flood maps. So that actually, that adoption must be in place by June 19th, 2020. So in order for us to get all of these reviews, recommendations, public comment, and um, you know, folks having a chance to digest it, we need to schedule a meeting um, for the next planning board meeting. So that would be um, March 10th. Yes, so do I have a, a motion um, to Put, uh, to create a public hearing on March 10th for review by the public um, of the Flood Damage Prevention Ordinance. Yes, ma'am, I'll make the motion. No second. We have, a, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very well. The motion carries that we will have um, a meeting on March 10th. Um, that will be open, that will be a public hearing for, for folks to come and comment about that. Um, all right. Well, moving right along. Um, so the next order of business is under old business. And um, I wanted to ask if, um, I, I don't know if there is any old business to come forward. Um, so we can move on. There is no old business. 
Uh, the next is uh, board members' comments. And so would anyone, would any of the board members have any comments to make this evening? I have none. Thank you. No, I'm just excited to be here. It's glad to be back here. Looking yes. forward to it. Well, you can probably tell there are, there are <laughs> some new faces on this um, on the planning board, um, Jamie Daniels being one and me being the other. And so I'm excited to be here as well and really um, so thrilled to be working on all the projects that are coming before this, this board. One other thing I wanted to mention, I just learned this this evening, and that is um, the planning board will now, um, our, will, our meetings will now be videoed and they will be viewable on the Manio YouTube site. So that's exciting. And so you can, um, you can feel that we're very accessible even if you aren't able to make the meeting on the very night that uh, it's posted. So, oh, so the last thing we need to do is we need a motion to adjourn this meeting. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to adjourn. And is there a second to that motion? I'll no second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The motion carries and we are adjourned. <laughs>